Disney presents The Wonderful World of Color. Now, from Walt Disney's wonderful world of color, the treasure of San Bosco Reef. That's what they figure. What could last so long under the water? Well, a lot of things. Not a whole ship, of course, with its galley slaves and sails, but stuff she was made out of. Lead plate and the nails and things she might have been carrying, like copper, coins, and bronze. No gold? And uh, how you say it, uh, joyelli? Uh, gemme? Jewels? See, si, jewels. There's some of that, but mostly it's pots and knives and pieces of metal. Pots and knives? All the professori and all the divers just to collect junk? It's a scientific expedition. You see, a few countries and foundations got together and put up the money to salvage the wreck. The professors examine the, the junk, and that way they learn about how people lived long ago. But who cares? Well, lots of people. Well, look, kid. Oh, I see. They pay you divers. And, uh, and do you make lots of money at this, eh? Not much. I'm not a pro yet, but I hope to be. That's why I spend my vacations diving with my Uncle Max. He used to be a frogman. You name it, he's dived for it. That's why he's heading this expedition. Capitano Max, he is your uncle? Yeah, you know him? Oh, see, si. he my very good friend. I'm a waiter in the cafe. I serve the food to everybody. What is your name? Dave Jones. Dave Jones. Good American name. I dig. My name is Augusto Donato. Very old Ligurian name. But to my many American friends, I am Gus. You call me Gus, eh? Okay, Gus. It's good. Now you are my friend. You show me how to swim under the water with the iron tubers that breed for you like the fish, eh? Well, I don't know. You ask Uncle Max, eh? Uncle... Yeah, sure. Hi, Davey. Hey, Max. How's the trip? Fine. How you doing? Hey, you look great. Thank you. You're taller. You're fatter. Fatter. That's pure muscle, Davey boy. I'm holding my breath underwater. Your lungs must be slipping in. <laughs> How's your mom and dad? Fine. Hey, David! Your feet! in the water. That's okay. It was an accident. There's a dead man down there. A what? 
a dead man right against his pilot. There's chains wrapped around his feet to keep him down. In San Bosco, that's hard to believe. We never have anything like that before. You say this is a man, a worker for you, huh? Yes, he was one of my divers. Huh. His name? Nicholas Petridis. Petridis? He was a former sponge diver from the Dodecanese Islands. Huh. How long he's missing? Since last weekend. Why you don't report this before? For overstaying a weekend? You don't report a man for that. Maybe not, but uh, maybe there was a fight before he leave or a bad feeling between the Petridis and the rest of the crew. No, 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 Captain. Nick went to Genoa for the weekend, huh? He didn't come back. And my nephew here found his body under the wharf. That's all I know. Hmm. You say he has a chains around his feet, huh? That's what we saw. Somebody just does not fall off the dock with chains on his feet. No, no. Thank you very much, sir. I'll uh, have to notify his family. No, no, we'll take care of that. Well, Captain, if there's anything I can do to help... Thank you very much. When uh, we bring up the corpse, then we see. We'll be in touch with you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hi, Assis. Nice to have you back. Thank you. You been doing any diving? Yeah, every chance I get. Ernie, say hello to Dave Jones. Another fella doesn't have sense to stay out of the wet. Hiya, Davey. Maybe you could be partners with Ernie and me. Sounds great. How are you coming with that marble statue? Skipper, that is a work of patience as well as art. But I think I'll get it out on the next dive. Sometimes we find something that takes special care, Davey. Come on, I want you to meet the professor. Oh, bring Ahmed and Raoul. I want to see them in the lab. You and Ernie come, too. What's up, Max? I'll tell you when we're all together. Gentlemen, I'd like you all to meet my nephew, David Jones. David, this is Dr. Hans Lindquist, archaeologist at the University of Salbury. How do you do, young man? Fine, sir. Pleased to meet you. This is Professor Donatelli, antiquarian and historian. Your chair is. Scusi. And Dr. Basil Menton, art historian of the Dominion Museum. Charmed, my boy, charmed. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Thank you. Exquisite piece, this, isn't it? Oh, yes, sir, it sure is. I date it from the early Periclean age, possibly the school of Phidias. To think that that was 400 years old, even before the Argosy went to the bottom. Oh, really? Uh, give the lad a chance to get with it, Doc. After all, he's just stepped on board. Oh, of course, of course. Uh, come and meet the rest of the diving crew, Dave. <laughs> ah, because in from America, we? Oui? Uh, no, nephew. My name's Dave. <laughs> of course. I am Raoul. He used to be a dealer at Monte Carlo until somebody broke the bank at his table. Now he's in a safer line of work. <laughs> I am Ahmed. He has the terrible Turk. He used to dive for pearls, but now we use him to scare the sharks. One look at him and vert him on tail, eh? <laughs> Fellas, I just found out what happened to Nick. Huh? We found him this morning in the village, under the wharf. Under the wharf? Drowned. Oh, no, très tragic. Nick drowned? Oh, he must have been drunk. No. Drunk or sober, Nick was not a man to drown. Before he is walking, he is swimming like a porpoise. How can this happen? There was a length of chain around his feet. Chain? He was murdered. Is that it? It looks that way. Why, Nick? Right after payday. Well, I warned Nick many times not to flash a roll around town. Somebody must have seen it. I don't think so. What else, then? Oh, 
Vendetta, perhaps. Uh, what about the girl we saw with no, the restaurant? No, 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 no. Oh, it's about the I, All right, yeah. fellas, hold it, hold it. The important thing is, if any of you know anything that might help the police, Captain Malchoni would appreciate hearing about it. In the meantime, we'll just carry on with our work as usual. Baby? Okay, Skipper. You want to die with me, Dave? Yeah, sure. Come on, I'll get you some. <laughs> All set? Ready. down there, Davy. It's great. How are the ears? Any discomfort? Not at all. You and Ernie ready? I'm ready. Ernie, get your gear on. Okay, please. I thought you said you were working on that marble statue with a missing head. Yes. It was. I should get it up on the next die. I hope I'm wrong, but I think it's gone. What? After the wreck, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the captain's quarters. I thought it'd be valuable cargo there. Well, it's gone, just like that gold cup I'm in spotted the other day. I found the rock it was attached to, but it's gone.
Skipper, you're right. What now? I don't know. Let's keep it quiet, for the time being at least. What's going on? Nothing. A couple of items got misplaced, that's all. There's something funny going on, isn't there? Funny? We're salvaging an antique treasure. Nothing funny about that, is there? You know what I mean. First one, your divers is murdered. And second, you're acting real unconcerned about it, but you don't fool me. Now look, Davey, don't play detective. Well, Max, hasn't it occurred to you that Nick's murder might be connected with his stealing? It has occurred to me. Now make yourself useful. Go on down the float and keep your eye on my diver's bubbles. What is new by the dead man under the wharf? Well, you get around more than we do, Gus. Suppose you tell us. Quasi niente. They say it is murder. Oh? And the murder is even now in this village, yes? How do you figure that? The only way in and out of the village is over the mountain or by motorboat. So? So nobody's gone over the mountain or by motorboat in one week. Who told you that? Capitano Malcione told me. He told you? But... almost. He was talking to Genova on the telephone, and I was sweeping nearby to him. Uh, between you two guys, we ought to catch that culprit in a matter of hours, right? Meanwhile, I'd like some soup, huh? Si, Capitano. Me too, Gus. Did the uh, Cease tell you that he oh, did... Oh, David. How about tomorrow you show me how to dive in water with uh, tubas of air, eh? Well, uh... Did you tell him you'd give him diving lessons? Well, no. He just, uh, kind of moved in on me, I guess. Tomorrow I have the time. I know work. Sure, why not, Gus? Take a couple of tanks, show them how. Well, I thought I was supposed to... Have fun, right. You kids enjoy yourselves. How about 9 o'clock tomorrow morning? Bene, Capitano. Grazie, grazie. Uh, and now, uh, how about the soup, huh? Direttamente, Capitano. Nothing like a hard day underwater to... Oh, Capitano. I forgot your butter. Grazie. Uh, gives you an appetite, doesn't it? Yeah. And thanks. I thought you wanted me to work on the wreck with you. I do. And you will. As soon as this mess is cleared up. Sometimes I prefer to work alone, Davy. Especially when it might be dangerous to the life of my inquisitive nephew. Here. Remember everything I showed you. But most important, don't fight it. Just relax and breathe easy. That way your air will last longer. Put your mask on. We'll turn your air on here. You ready? I am ready Let's when go. you are ready, David.
That is magnifico, David. The world of the fishes. It's you did real good, Gus. Just remember, don't get too sure of yourself. Something can always go wrong. Uh, you don't scare me that easy, amico. Though I did think, what is this when that other diver swam by? Other diver? See, when I waved to you, look, there was this other diver. But he swam around the rock out of sight before you could turn. Was he a diver like us? I mean, with tanks and fins and the whole bit? I see. <sighs> That's funny. There wouldn't be anybody from the wreck. Do you know any other divers from town? No, only Capitano Max and his divers. Well, how'd it go, Davy? Fine. How's it going here? Okay. Ahmed and Cease down below? Yeah. Skipper's with them. How long have they been down there? Oh, about 20 minutes. Did you dive before they did? Yeah. Hey, what are the questions, Davy? Well, I just, uh, I just want to take my turn and want to know who I'd be working with. Interesting work, isn't it? Yes, yes, very much. I was thinking of taking up archaeology. Marine archaeology, of course. Uh -huh. You ever do any diving? Oh, yes. You the one who discovered the wrecked Argosy? No, 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 no. She was discovered accidentally by some sponge divers. still dive? Occasionally, yeah. We all do. Well, I didn't mean to bother you. Oh, no, no, not at all. Asking questions is one way to learn. Feel free to ask anytime. Okay, I will. Thank you. See you later. Mm -hmm. Hiya, Dave. Back already? What do you mean, already? That was a big morning. How do you do? Pretty good. But oh, by the way, he saw another diver over there near the promontory. Another diver? That's what he said. He saw him, I didn't. And what's more, I know there's no other divers around here except us. Well, now, how do you know that? Gus told me, and he's right. I checked it out in town. Now, listen, baby. I told you not to play detective. I'm not playing, Max. What he saw was accidental. I just thought it might interest you, that's all. It does interest me, but let's keep it to ourselves. We'll talk about it later, huh? Sure. Now, how about my turn on the wreck? Be my guest. Uh, confidentially, who do you think it is? You little... Uh, how you are, huh? Nice seeing you again. And you? Prego. And you? Ah, good evening, Captain. Won't you join us? Thank you. Thank you. Would you like brandy? Oh, no, no, brandy. No, 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 no. Well, how, how about an espresso, then? Well, if you insist, huh? Oh, gosh. See? Si. Bring one espresso, will you please? Si, Capitano. I have a something that may be interesting to you. Oh, yes? A small collection of art. A small collection of art has come into my hands. A marble of gold, all very, very antiquity. I believe it originated in the sea. 
You like it to see? Yes, I would. Maybe we can meet in the commissariato. Fine. Oh, when you finish. I'll join you in a few minutes. Thank you. Thank you very much for the express. You think that could be the stuff from the wreck? It's possible. Well, Max, you know it's got to be. Why? Because the Capitano is not an admirer of art. That is why. I'll be right back. Be right back, Gus. You stay here and solve the mystery with Gus. Follow me, David. Where? Just follow me. Well, Capitano. This piece and uh, this big one here, I saw on the wreck myself. These other things, uh, I don't recognize. But you would say these other objects of art that could have come from the wreck of the Argosy, no? I can only be positive about these two. They could have come from the wreck, yes. Yes. In other words, you say it is likely that they come from the wreck. Very likely. All right, I agree with you. Leave it, favor. That is what I've been trying to convince Signor Agostino of. But he insisted that he found this washed up on the beach. <laughs> Well, that's ridiculous. Of course it is. <laughs> How did these objects come into your possession? I assume this gentleman didn't bring them to you. Oh, no, no, no. You see, in following the movement of your dead dog, Patrice, my man find that on the night that he died, he was seen in a cafe together with Signor Agostino. So I investigate the Signor Agostino, and I find this interesting collection in his room. Well, with this fact, it become obvious to me that he and Petridis work together. Hey, you got a grid and you killed him, huh? Huh? I find it difficult to believe that Petridis would be hooked up. I find it hard to believe you didn't know this was missing. Well, I did. Ah. In a way, I had no idea there was this much. How long have this been going on? A couple of weeks. <laughs> When you did find out, why you don't come and tell me, huh? I didn't think it was important enough to bother you with, until now. It become obvious to me that you have not been completely honest with me. Perhaps even now, you're not telling me everything. Look, Captain, why would I come here in the... Mister! Let me remind you that you operating in Italian water and you are responsible to my government. Let me also remind you that I represent that government here in San Bosco. In a short, you are responsible direct to me. You'll hear from me later. Good night. Guardia. Hi, Skipper. Oh, join us, eh? You're not gonna believe that, are you? Huh? Believe what? Oh, all that talk in there. In where? I uh, had to throw away the garbage. I uh, cannot help it if the cans are in front of Capitano Malchona's window. I thought I told you to stay here. Look, Max, Petridis couldn't be the thief. The headless Athena disappeared after he was killed. I know. It's been bothering me, too. Uh, espresso? Gelati? Si? No, no, thank you, Gus. Augustina must have stolen the statue himself. But how? Same as we do, dive for it at night when nobody's around. With tanks? Why not? They need an air compressor to refill them. And you don't bring something like that in here without everybody knowing about it. You know what we've done? What's that? We've eliminated Petrides and Augustino. That means the person who stole the headless statue is someone in my crew. Not only the crew, but the professors too. Link was told me he'd still dies. And another thing, maybe Petrides wasn't a thief at all. Maybe he caught onto the caper, muscled in, and they bumped him off. They? Augustino and the thief. The real thief. 
Or maybe he was part of the gang and he wanted a bigger cut. Now it's a gang. Well, why not? Listen, Charlie Chan. If you keep this up, I'm going to start suspecting you. Well, you can't. I have an alibi. I wasn't here until... It's nice of our Uncle Max to tell you we have another lesson this morning, eh? Yes, he's always doing real nice things for me. Maybe we catch Big Aragosta for Uncle Max. You see them down there? Yeah, yeah, I saw them. Well, look, you rest up here. I'll be right back.
must not be right back. What happened? I had another one, but he got away. Anyway, this one's bigger. Ah. I will tell Uncle Max what a fight this one gives me. What a pro, he will say. What a bravo ragazzo. Hot dogs. Not about how it's being done, is there? No. The question still is who? Right. There's only one sure way of finding out. I'll keep watch here and catch the thief red-handed next time he comes back with a stolen piece. Well, that wouldn't work. If you're gone from the boat, they'd get suspicious. Look, Max, you know as well as I do, it's gotta be me. No. That's out. It's too dangerous. But it wouldn't have to be. Look, listen up. I'm the only one on the boat they wouldn't miss, because I go to the beach anyway. I could sit here and watch for his bubbles and then give you the high sign. What kind of a high sign? I can't see you here from the boat. The flare gun. You could sure see that. Well, I don't know. Well, look, what can go wrong? You already said nobody can see me from the boat. So when you get the flare, you can dive down, count noses, see who's missing, and then watch the guilty guy swim back to the wreck. Well, maybe. Look, Max, it's the only way. You know something? Being an uncle has got to be a lot rougher than being a father. You've been following me, huh? See? And you followed me yesterday. For four or five days, you very misterioso. You go to rock, sit long time each day. Why? Well, I can't tell you now. You just go back to town and I'll tell you later. But, David, I want to sit with you. Maybe I can... Look it, do what I say or no more diving. Now, which is it? More diving. Okay, beat it. I'll tell you about it later.
Agostino and Ernie plan to get rid of that ancient treasure. Oh, cease. A lot of rich collectors would buy antiques as rare as those in the black market, as long as they knew they were authentic. Or you could melt the gold down. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Well, as long as the mystery's solved, what do you say we celebrate with a brandy? Is it solved, cease? We still don't know how Petridis fits in, or why he was killed. Well, uh, uh, the Capitano is right. Uh, I have taken the trouble to investigate the alibi of Ernie and Mr. Agostino. The report has just come in. They are what you call clean. Well, who do you think it is? Well, the list narrows down to members of your expedition. Including you, Capitano. Good night. See what I tell you, David? Italiano mystery is not so simple, eh? <laughs> and now, stay with us for just a moment. We'll be right back with a few scenes from our next program. On our next program, the unknown killer makes a desperate effort to get the treasure. He decides to eliminate anyone who can stop him, starting with Ahmed. Well, uh, you know your dead diver, Demetrius Ahmed. Well, I just received a telephone from the doctor, and he tell me that he died from uh, metallic poison. Well, that worked very, very fast, maybe one hour. So it had to be somebody on your boat that gave it to him. The killer has tipped his hand, and Captain Maxwell moves against him. I'm just as anxious as you are to find out who is responsible for Ahmed's death. In fact, I have taken the liberty of doing a little investigating on my own. You have? Yes. 
I've telephoned the American consulate in Naples and asked him to give me a rundown on every man aboard this ship. Unfortunately, the information never reaches its destination. Receive a message from the consul in Napoli? No, not yet. Why you lie to me? What does that mean? Lie to you? All of these days I think you're my friend, and all of these days you lie to me. What are you driving at? Ah, it was a big surprise to me when the two prisoners confessed to me that you are the leader. The what? Yes. They name you leader of this pirate gang that steal the treasure below the sea. Don't miss the surprising conclusion of the treasure of San Bosco Reef next week on Walt Disney's wonderful world of color. Presents the Now, from Walt Disney's wonderful world of color, the treasure of San Bosco Reef. Last week, in a small Italian fishing village, we saw Dave Jones rejoin his Uncle Max, the captain of an underwater salvage expedition. Their reunion, however, was interrupted by Dave's young friend, Gus. Hey, David! Your feet! Gus's stumble led to the discovery of Nicholas Patrice, one of Max's divers, chained beneath the pier. After reporting their find to the local police, Max informed the crew of his floating laboratory of Nick's fate. Fellas, I just found out what happened to Nick. Huh? We found him this morning in the village, under the wharf. Under the wharf? Drowned. Ah, no, très tragique. Nick drowned? Oh, he must have been drunk. No. Drunk or sober, Nick was not a man to drown. Before he is walking, he is swimming like a porpoise. How can this happen? There was a length of chain around his feet. Chain? He was murdered. Is that it? It looks that way. In time, Dave and Max became more and more aware that certain valuable pieces were missing from the wreck. And the fear that one of their own divers was involved was proven true when Dave witnessed the thief in action and followed him to his treasure cave. A plan was devised to apprehend him. I could sit here and watch for his bubbles and then give you the high sign. What kind of a high sign? I can't see you here from the boat. The flare gun. You can sure see that. Well, I don't know. Well, look, what can go wrong? You already said nobody can see me from the boat. So when you get the flare, you can dive down, count noses, see who's missing, and then watch the guilty guy swim back to the wreck. The plan worked, and the thief turned out to be Ernie, a member of the crew. Now, his apprehension solved the mystery of the stolen treasure, but... We still don't know how Petrides fits in, or why he was killed. Well... Uh... Uh, the Capitano is right. I have uh, taken the trouble to investigate the alibi of Ernie and Mr. Agostino. The report has just uh, come in. They are uh, what you call uh, clean. Well, who do you think it is? Well, uh, 
the list narrows down to members of your expedition. Including you, Capitano. said it was Greek. It looks Phoenician to me. Oh, rot, Doctor. The style of the stock is too sophisticated. Something's wrong with the helmet. The bends. I don't know. He just passed out. Couldn't be the bends. He hasn't been down long enough. Embolism, perhaps, eh? Bring him up on the float. Better get him to a doctor. <laughs> Well, how is he? He's dead. Dead? How? The doctor didn't seem to know exactly. He said something about respiratory failure. Hey, Capitano! Capitano, I'm glad I catch you in time. I can trouble you for a hitchhike to your diving boat. Oh, sure, Captain. May I ask why? Well, uh, you know your dead diver, Dimitrius Ahmed. Well, I just received a telephone from the Dottori, and he tell me that he died from uh, metallic poison. Well, that worked very, very fast, maybe one hour. So it had to be somebody on your boat that gave it to him. I'm sorry to have to trouble you, but, you know, it's my business to investigate, ask questions. Sure. Sure, Captain. Very kind, very kind. Polyethylene glycol. Is that correct? Huh? Yeah, close enough, Captain. What is this use? To rid the wood of encrustations. Uh, Incrustation. Incrustazione. Ah. Oh. Mm. Uh. Hydrochloric acid, eh? For cleaning pottery. Uh, thank you very much, Dottore. Ah, sodium fluoride. For the preservation of the wood. Yes, yes, I know. Well, look. You have uh, many, many fatal poisoning. This expedition, important as it is, seems to have uh, much violence. I'm sorry, but uh, because everyone here is under suspicion, I must ask that nobody here leave us on Bosco. Ultra Giorgio, my concert you hear about this, mark my words. Please, you must believe I'm a very, very sorry. Men of your distinguished career, professional standing. But after all, somebody here give Ahmed Dimitrius the poison. 
He uh, could not have taken it himself, accidentally. Mm. Hardly likely, Doctor. Have you considered suicide? We don't. No. So we are to consider ourselves prisoners. Well, let us say you're prisoners at large. You will be free to continue your work. But, like I say, nobody is to leave us on Bosco without my permission. Captain Malchoni, aren't you forgetting one important thing? Well, what is that? A motive. Must have something to do with the treasure you bring from the sea. If Ahmed's killers are intent on getting their hands on that treasure, don't you think it'd be a good idea to put a 24-hour guard around the warehouse? Bravo, eh? Bravo. I have already issued such order. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Maxwell, I do not welcome suggestions about how to perform the duties of my job. Your duties? Well, I have a few duties of my own. To my job, for one thing, as head of this operation. And to the people who work for me. It's not necessary to raise your voice. Captain Melchoni, I'm just as anxious as you are to find out who is responsible for Ahmed's death. In fact, I have taken the liberty of doing a little investigating on my own. You have? Yes. I've telephoned the American consulate in Naples and asked him to give me a rundown on every man aboard this ship. Captain, surely you can't like possibly... Like the man said, it has to be one of us. The question is, which one? Maybe I'll find out when I get that information from Naples. I, too, will be interested in that information. A good day, gentlemen. Oh, uh, David, will you run Captain Malchoni ashore? Yeah. Uh, Gavigliano, I'd like to speak to you in private in my office. At your convenience. Sure. Wanted to talk to me? Yes. No matter what you say, I'm uh, not a stupid man. I never said you were. Then you must have a reason for telling your men in front of me that they're going to be investigated. That's right. Well, you'd like to tell me the reason? Sure, why not? Hmm. There's one thing you said I buy 100%. Whoever killed Ahmed had to be one of the men aboard my boat. Mm -hmm. If he thought he were going to be exposed, he'd have one of two alternatives. One, he could make a run for it. Or two, he could make certain I didn't receive my answer from Naples. Somehow I have to rule out, number one. Whoever is behind this is going too far to run now and leave behind maybe half a million dollars. And uh, you uh, hope to be there when uh, this uh, somebody intercepted the information from Napoli, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd let my mail come through unopened. Oh, surely you don't think I would invade the privacy of an American citizen, huh? I don't know, Malchoni. Would you? You want something, old buddy? No, thanks, Gus. How'd it go? How did what go? What did Malcioni want to talk to you alone about? He's grasping at straws. The truth is, Malcioni doesn't know anything more than I do. And right now, that's nothing. Well, he must have wanted to talk to you about something. Well, he was curious about why I tipped my hand by mentioning that phone call to Naples in front of the others. Well, that's easy. You did that to flesh out the guy we're looking for. We? Well, 
Now look, Davy, I asked you to stay out of this. Is that clear? I bring the espresso anyway, yes? Hi, Gus. How's the diving coming? Pretty good. I'm practicing to breathe like so. <sighs> hey, that's good. We go diving tomorrow, yes? Well, uh, I don't know. We're more sure-handed now than ever. Oh, I think we can spare you, Davy. Go ahead, take a couple of tanks. Take him out. Do you good. Hot dogs! Nine o'clock tomorrow? Yeah. That's fine. I'll meet you here, I guess. Good morning, old buddy. We go to the beach this morning, eh? Uh, no. I got a better idea. How would you like to dive down and see the wreck? You mean it? Yes? For well, sure. Come on, I already got the tanks in the boat. Oh, boy. <laughs> Don't look now, but I think we're being followed. Oh, sure, old buddy. That's Hugo. Who's Hugo? Uh, how you say it, uh, simple cloth man? Plain clothes man? Si, plain clothes man. Hugo, a barber for Capitano Malcione. Part time. What's he following us for? Maybe we're suspicious characters, eh? <laughs> Hey, look, 
a message from the consul in Napoli? No, not yet. Oh. Why you lie to me? What does that mean? Lie to you? All of these days I think you're my friend, and all of these days you lie to me. Why don't you just say what you mean? Well, all right. Number one, I don't believe you expect a message from the consul in Napoli. And number two, why you work by yourself without my help when you catch the American early? Tell me that. Because I wanted to get some proof. I wanted to catch him red-handed. If you started moving in, asking questions, Ernie might have been scared off. Uh, you believe that the police in San Bosco is uh, not a competent, huh? Come off it. I was trying to help. But your plan did not work, am I correct? What are you driving at? Ah, it was a big surprise to me when the two prisoners confessed to me that you are the leader. The what? Yes. They name you leader of this pirate gang that steal the treasure below the sea. And the murdering, too. And you believe that? Please, come with me to the Consariato. You're not going to arrest Uncle Max. Under the condition of what I should do, huh? You'll come peacefully. It looks like I don't have much choice. Good. You stay here, Dave. Cease when you're finished here. See that David gets back to the pensione, will you? All right. Hi, Davy. Sorry about the skipper, kid, but uh, I had to tell the truth, didn't I? What are you doing here? I thought I told you to stay out of this. Well, me and Cease got a couple ideas. He's in talking with Malchoni now. What does he know about Italian law? He's a diver, not a lawyer. We're only trying to help. I know, Davy. Did you find out why Ernie put the finger on you? I have a pretty good idea. What? Whoever's behind this obviously wants to get me out of the way so he can intercept that information from Naples when it arrives. Max have tried everything. Insufficient evidence. Habeas corpus that works. Well, thanks for trying anyway, Cece. I just wish I could do some good. There is something you can do for me. What is it? Keep your eye out for that letter from Naples. Right now, it looks as if that's the only key that's going to open this door for me. Right. And, uh, watch out for this one, will you? Keep him out of trouble. <laughs> All right. Anything else I can do for you? Uh, gentlemen... Visiting a time is up. Take it easy, Skipper. So long. Bye, man. So long, Dave. That's quite a day, wasn't it, Davey? Yeah, I'm tired, too. I sure hope that letter gets here soon. See you in the morning, Cease. Good night, Dave. Cease! Cease! Davey? Dave? What happened? I'm all right. Somebody slugged me.
overseas? Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I guess so. You're not cut. Did you see who it was? No. But uh, whoever it was was after Skipper's correspondence from Naples. Well, yeah, but he took the letter. David. Did I let him get away with that letter? No, don't worry about it. It was don't only. Don't worry about it. Skipper entrusted me with that letter. That's the only chance he's got at clearing himself. What I'm trying to say is the letter that guy took was from my mom and dad. From your mom and dad? So, that's about it, Skipper. I got conked on the head trying to retrieve a letter from Dave's parents. Huh. Well, at least whoever slugged you didn't get what they came for, if that's any consolation. You don't have any idea who it was? No. You know, Cease, I did a lot of thinking last night. About what? About our job here. I think we'd better shut down operations, at least until I'm out of here. We've lost three divers already, if you want to include Laughing Boy over there. Yeah. I'd like to be with him in that cell for five minutes. I think it'd take me just about that long to walk out with the answers. Well, Skipper, if we, if we do close down, what about the professors? They have enough work to do at the warehouse, cleaning up the stuff we already brought up. Well, I'll check with you when I get back from the boat. Okay. I bring you something special this morning, old buddy. Hot chocolate. Oh, thanks. When we go diving again? Today, maybe? I don't think so. You down in the garbage, eh? Yeah? I'm where? Uh, I don't know how you say it. Uh... Down in the dumps? See. Si. Yeah, I guess I am. Hi, Gus. Hi. Morning, Dave. Morning, Cease. I went by your room to see if you wanted breakfast, but you already gone. I went over to see Max, and he wants us to close down operations for the time being. What do you mean, shut down? Well, we're short-handed. Well, we can handle it. I know it, but that's what he wants us to do. We have to go back to the boat and tell the professors and pick up the equipment. Gus? See? Si? There's something you can do for us, something very important. Do you think you can borrow a boat? Oh, see. Si. Senor Tienta, the fisherman, very old friend of mine. Good. Now, here's what I want you to do. Go to the Pinzioni after the mailboat comes this afternoon and see if there's a letter from Naples for Captain Maxwell. Now, if there is, bring it out to me on the boat and don't stop and talk to anybody. Understand? See, si. Like David says, you betcha. Let's go, Davy. <laughs> Scusa, Capitano. Did it come? See. Si. According to this, no one on this expedition has ever been charged with anything more serious than a misdemeanor. Let me see. Is not good news, David? Well, I got to get back to work. See you later, David. I'll see you, Gus. Thanks a lot. Was nothing. How are we gonna tell Max? 
I don't know. We have most of our equipment together. Perhaps you'd like to give us a hand? Packing? So, this and that all has to be packed. That doesn't quite match, my curious young friend. Raoul? Move over. Come. Gentlemen, unfortunately, I have to inform you that our work has come to an end. What do you mean? He's not the real linguist, for one thing. Quite true. Incredible. I cannot believe you are a thief and a murderer. No, 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 no. Thank you, Doctor, for doubting it. It's a tribute to the effectiveness of my disguise. What about the real linguist? I can assure you he has not been harmed. On the contrary, he's quite comfortable at the house I rented in the south of France. A bold venture from the very beginning. Unfortunately, I hadn't counted on Captain Maxwell sending for these and exposing me. What are you going to do with that? Well, nothing, if you choose to cooperate. Frankly, gentlemen, I intend to leave tonight with the treasure for the group I represent. So I must apologize, especially to my distinguished colleagues, for asking you to submit to the indignity of being tied. But you see, I cannot afford any more risks. Raoul? The ropes? I'll be back at the launch to pick you up later.
Bene. Grazie. Keys to the cell. Come. Very good. Come with me, please. Ernie. Boss. Open those two cells, please. Mr. Maxwell, if you had received the correspondence from Naples instead of your nephew, you would have learned that I, the renowned Professor Hans Lindqvist, am an imposter. Where is Dave? Well, but out of the way for the time being. All right, inside, please. Something I forgot to look into. Would you give me a hand, please? Thank you. Oh, yes, would you please move that lower one for me? Thank you. You remain on guard outside or we'll load the launch, all right? Now. Yes, this is one of them.
¡Capitano! Yes, that's the case. Then the mad desk and the right side and the draw. Hurry up. Let's go. Hey, Capitano, I want to apologize. Give it. Thank you. Avanti, andiamo. Cease, we better get you to a doctor with that shoulder. Hey, I thought I told you to stay out of this. But, Max, I had to... What I was going to say was that for once... I'm glad you didn't follow orders. How did you stop that launch, anyway? Oh, uh, fishnet. Fishnet? Signor Tianta the fisherman, he's going to be very angry. Come on, Cesar. 